Good day, viewers. This is Citizen Information Network, CIN. My name is Fatima Tijani. ASU strike has entered its first week, and Nigerian students are still at home as negotiations are going on. The question is, does this strike affect the Nigerian students, the parents, and the academic system? I'll be right back. strike has entered its one week and student, Nigerian students are still at home as negotiations are going on. The question is, does this strike affect the students, the parents and the academic uh, system in general? What do you think? Well, for me, it's, it's very surprising that at this stage and at this point, like, like at this point they are still going talking about ASU strike and I think the students are even lucky that the, to this that it's just a weak thing and it's affecting everybody both the students the lecturers the parents like it's affecting everybody it's very bad I think they should just look for a final solution to this ASU strike thing. Most students or some students that, uh, uh, that are at home now doing nothing you know they are just roaming about the streets and they are not happy about the strike in you know, as well because it's also affecting them in some certain area in terms of their studies. And at the same time, we urge the federal government to follow up the strike because it's not easy for the uh, for uh, for any parents sending their uh, their I mean their children to school with I mean without them going to school for the lecture. Uh, let me just put it that way. And at the same time, we, the citizens or individual, we are urging the federal government to call up this right because it's affected many, many things in the society. It's just a shame that, uh, you know, things like this will be happen in Nigeria in the 21st century. In short, I don't speak pidgin English again. I speak pidgin English. You see, I'll be it. When I talk about saying, I agree to you. When I talk about saying that they fight corruption, that they fight corruption, corruption, corruption. The same people, the same people, now them, they hold this matter down when we say students, they on strike now. What thing it go cost them? These same people, these same set people, their children ready for America, you know, even think of that. You understand? The strike issue, it, it they affect, the way it affects people now, okay, now the students, they're not there as now. What do you now want me that they do? And I want to reduce crime rates. You understand me? The students were supposed to be for school now, we don't do for house. You understand me? And as they for house, definitely, any little thing, you understand me, they go involved. So, what do you now they talk? The strike matter, eh? they don't go one week now, eh? the next week, before you do, they do two, three, one month now, when I go see, I'm saying the rate of crime or another thing, go rise up again. You understand me? I bet government, we're going to do something. Federal government should try as possible and ensure they do all they need to do to end up as a strike. You know, in reality, you know, school is the foundation uh, of every basic thing in life. So if you miss out of it, it's going to be a basic problem to the entire nation in the sense that our educational system is already porous and now it's getting collapsed. So it doesn't have value anymore. So they need to add value to it and ensure the lecturers are well taken care of. It's something that the government should just try and address. As you strike, has been on for quite some time and I think it's, it's quite embarrassing for now for any union to go on strike and I think the best thing is for, is for the federal government to call them to and dialogue with them. It's, it's, it's not worth it and I think the, the students are at the receiving end. They are the ones that, that at, at the end of the day that will after they graduate, they will go to the labor market. And if you look at it very well, most of the Nigerian students are not employable. And most of Nigerian tertiary institutions now, they, they turn out half-baked graduates. Why? Because during the time they, they were on strike, most of the students, they didn't do anything. They, they look for, when, and when they resume, they, it, it's very difficult for them to cope. I think our government should um, intervene fast because students are just at home and um, uh, a lot of them are jobless and they are not doing anything which will make them to begin to think of vices that are not 
good enough. So um, uh, that would lead to some of them that have um, criminal tendencies to begin to think about things that would, I mean, not be good for our society. So um, I want to implore our government to please act on it fast. Definitely, it's very, very unfortunate, and uh, uh, I've discussed with the uh, the alumni student of uh, Nigerian Union. Uh, several times concerned this, uh, this issue as at last week Friday. Uh, it's something government have to do something reasonable about it. You understand? Because when it comes to this situation of uh, strike, this is reality. A lot of students, they are missing up in their study and the necessary thing have to be put in place. I can see that currently now, issue of wages and uh, salaries have been affecting the administrative, uh, economically, and they have to work on it. The federal government is not trying. Since uh, so many years ago, they're supposed to have settled this matter once and for all. I think they are disturbing the students. The parents of the students are also suffering it. Because when a, a, a student is supposed to spend five years, he or she is now spending six years, then it's affecting the in, in income of the parents. So in, in my opinion, the federal government is not doing well. They're supposed to peg this in and end it for once and for all and give them a, a good condition that will make them to foster much in the academy. I think it's affecting everybody, all the stakeholders, both the government, the students themselves and uh, the parents equally, simply because um, if you look at it, this is like a sh short comment for the student. What you would have done in a normal periodic time, definitely to take a longer period of time. And sometimes when they come back from this strike, they want to push a lot to them. What they would have prepared gradually for, they will need to just do it in a short period of time, which will not actually help the student. You understand? And for the parents, uh, there are so many things because some of these students might be at home doing what they are not supposed to be doing. So it's not really helping the parent as well. And you know, in terms of economic aspect also, it affects the parent. Everybody has a budget. If my son or my daughter is in school, I have a plan, I have a budget for what works. But whenever they are home, they are, it will take some other extra expenses for that. And it might even lead to some students doing what they are not supposed to do, like I said earlier. So that is another thing. But in the area of the government, I think they, they, are, they should be the one, they are the primary person in this area. Government should be able to lay down a good structure for academic. Welcome back, viewers. You've heard from Nigerians. You can also join us on this conversation by following us on all our social media handles, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at CIN Ninja, or log on to our website www.cinnigeria.com. Until I come your way again, my name remains Fatima Tijani. Have a nice day. <music>